Hi, welcome to Soil Structure Software. This is a video regarding grade beam. So uh, let me expose to you what the grade beam is. Here you have engineering plan. There is a little bit of a stem wall. It's two foot six. And then it's supported by a grade beam, which is in return supported by a drill pier. And there is a uh, guardrail on top of the stem wall. And there is a descending slope. So if you were to look at the cross section the grade beam would look something like this <clears throat> and uh, it will have the beam width and the beam depth we can go to this table and see that the width is 30 inches the beam depth is 22 inch and the reinforcement is four number five bars at the top and four number five bars at the bottom and then these ties are number four at nine so with that let's go into a uh, soil structure grade beam uh, software so in the program when you fire it up it will ask you certain inputs one of those is the factored shear vu in the uh, it should be in the x direction and then it will ask you for torsion it will ask you for uh, ultimate axial load factored moment in the x direction and then the factored moment in the y direction and then it will ask you for the beam width and the depth, which is the geometry of the grade beam. And then it will ask you for the concrete strength and the steel uh, FY. After that, you decide what's the clear cover, the bar size at the top and bottom, the number of bars, and the stirrup size and spacing. And if you have a uh, grade beam that's 36 inches or deeper, then it will ask you to place uh, reinforcement uh, size uh, so this can reinforcement so anyway let's let's start with this uh, program we have 29 and a half caps of shear factored shear so this is 1.6 already load factor and then it has a torsion 122.6 this is coming from uh, the uh, uh, it, it's coming from uh, the grade beam is spanning between piers and then from there you have torque so that's what this torsion is for axial load this is coming from the stem wall so if we go back into the uh, example we have it's this stem wall plus the weight of the grade b okay so that should give you p sub u okay so it would be 11 kips and then you have the factored moment uh, mux this is coming from uh, static earth pressure uh, plus the seismic earth pressure uh, that's multiplied by 1.6 and factored moment mu this is for example uh, if you had uh, the if the stem wall was not centered in the grade beam let's say it was off to the left or maybe off to the right then you'll have eccentricity and that would be called mu sub y in this case it's centered so it's zero and then we're trying uh, a trial width of 42 inches and a depth of 30 so that's 42 and 30 and because we may have sulfates in the soil, we want to use uh, 4 KSI and type 2 cement. And then the grade, uh, we no longer really uh, get FY of 40, so we're just going to specify 60 KSI. Okay, and then we're trying a 3 inch cover. We want a 3 inch clear left and right, top and bottom. And then the size, so we said uh, you can choose from number 3 to number 18. We decided to go with number 7 and um, we have four of them so this is the number of bars at the top and the bottom so you have one two three four bars at the top one two three four bars at the bottom with this program you cannot specify different bars top and bottom so you have to choose the same number and then the stirrups uh, if we had like number five or number six we could go with number three stirrups but in this case we have number seven so let's go with number four stirrups and the spacing we chose is four and a half inches um, and then we're choosing the same number seven for skin reinforcement but it's zero because the beam depth is less than 36 but if you wanted to see you can put one here and then get out of it uh, so then it, it would go ahead and, and uh, put uh, skin reinforcement but in this case it's not necessary Anyway, so now we go and we have a uh, the shear capacity is 234.6 kips 
and we're only utilizing 12.6 percent the torsion is 236 we're utilizing almost 52 percent and the moment is 281 foot capacity and we're utilizing 44 percent maximum stirrup spacing is 8.6 so maybe we can come back to this four and a half and choose six inches and it's still green because it's less than 8.68 inches the spacing between longitudinal bars is less than 11.7 that's here you know between this bar and this bar this center to center spacing from aci 318 it specifies it should be less than 12 inches and right now we have 11.7 so we're okay uh, required torsion uh, steel it's 2.71 square inches and then we do the moment capacity uh, because we have m u x 122 so if you click on pm graphs okay so it, it will give you the uh, phi mn and pmn in the x direction and then phi mn and pmn in the y direction so this is obviously zero there is no m u y but this one is you could see there is a phi mn of 122.6 that comes from here 122.6 okay and if you want to see the moment capacity computations we choose 10 points and we do the uh, phi mn uh, diagram moment interaction diagram and uh, the, the design is per aci 31814 uh, as the years go by and new codes come up will obviously uh, go to the next uh, aci uh, produced manual uh, standard and then uh, we assume that the great beam section is non pre stressed uniform and rectangular and input forces at, at uh, common critical locations and uh, so if you want to print you hit print and you can say setup and i can choose a pdf version and just say i want to preview at this time so say okay and it will take a few seconds to uh, pull the things together so then there you are you get two pages so page one has the uh, cross section with the rebar information and then here are your inputs again as with most soil structure software we have two columns to reduce the number of pages of output it gives you clean uh, results and it gives you all the input it gives you the capacity and then here are notes for uh, aci 31814 tables for compressive strength exposure and mixture requirements then when you go to page two it gives you the pm interaction diagrams and if you go down to the bottom of the page it gives you the references that we use to make the software so uh, thank you for your time and hope to see you in the next video